Hello everyone, Aaron here from ISM Computing. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial in Flash CS4. Now this tutorial is going to be a carousel type application that you can make and obviously put on your website. Now if I control enter, as you can see I've got nothing on the stage, it's all done through the action script. If I do control enter you can see what that looks like. And I have five cubes or different colors. Now, what you can actually do is once you start to bring your mouse over, once you go onto the cubes, it gives you the hand to show you that it's clickable. So it will actually go to a URL or it will go to a certain page or do a type of function that you want. And as you can see, it stops at the front. So if I pull to the right, it starts to sorry, it starts to move clockwise, and it starts to speed up depending on how far away you move off of the center x, which is the variable I've made. So the horizontal line going from left to right. So if I come over to the left side, you'll see it stops and starts to move to anti-clockwise. Now, I'll just show you once uh, it comes around. I know the green one goes to a link I know, and it's the one that I want to show you. So if I just click on that, and wait for it to open up in my browser, as you can see, it's not open. I'll just leave that for to open. And as you can see, it links to developphp.com, which is where I'm a member. And I recommend anyone watching my videos to come over and sign up there plenty of tutorials, plenty of information, plenty of uh, source files you can download. This being one of them once uh, it's obviously up on YouTube and I've put it onto develop PHP. Then you can actually go there and you can see the action script code and you can download the source files. So if you want to get to these files, you're going to have to come over to developphp.com. As I said, it's a very good site. I'm a member there myself. And as I said, there's a lot, a lot of information there. So please come over and sign up. Um, let's close that down. So the next thing, let's close that. Next thing I'm going to show you is the action script. So Let's start from the top. As you can see, it goes from lines 1 to 60. So from lines 15 all the way up to 1, they're all new variables. So these are names that I've made so that I can use down in functions and my for loops or the for loop that I've made. And it's just easier for the calculations, so I don't have to keep writing in numbers. And if I need to change a number, I can just literally change a number. And I don't have to go down to where it calculates and change that number. It would do it all for me. So the first one is center x, which is a new variable, which is a number. And that is equal to the stage dot stage width. So from left to right, right to left, divided by 2, which will give me my center point of the horizontal line on my stage. So imagine this being my stage, and where my mouse is, is roughly the center. That is what this line here will do. It will give us that center point, and that is where the radius will circle through. The next line is exactly the same apart from this is center y and that is equal to stage dot stage height divided by two. So from top to bottom being the horizontal line, sorry, the vertical line, I beg your pardon, being the vertical line and that will give you your center point. So as I said before, where my mouse is up and down, this would be roughly the center point. So 
the next variable I've got is radius x dot number which is 150 now what I do is I'll just show you the variable radius y number is 50 so basically these two lines here this one oh sorry these two here are basically the way that the circle animates so if I just show you let's just uh, control and enter again so as you can see it moves round in as I say in a circle but it's sort of flipped down on its side if you like so imagine these cubes um, and imagine them being up the other way so imagine flipping this up on its side then it would circle as my mouse does so what I've done is brung the center X uh, sorry I beg your pardon I'm confusing you now let's just go back I'm bringing the radius X so the way that it moves and the X being left to right I've brung that to 150 and the radius y being the vertical line up and down I've brung that down to 50 so it would move the circle and flip it down to its side so that gives you that animation of what my mouse is doing now so the next variable I've done is the speed which number is 0.1 now if you want to speed this up all you have to do is change this number here um, I did put this on develop PHP in the forums to get feedback on what guys thought um, a lot of guys were saying that my pictures were too small and it was moving too fast now I wasn't actually using this on my site I was just making the application to show you guys so you could give me some feedback whether you liked it and if you liked it I was going to make a tutorial which is what I'm doing now so it was only for demonstration purposes so that there you can change to whatever you like but as I say I've got mine set at 0.1 so the next part is these two lines here the variable min speed and the variable max speed which is minus 0.05 for the min speed and the max speed being plus 0.05 and note for the plus 0.05 we don't actually have a plus sign there so just bear that in mind so what we do is when we move closer to the cubes we slow down to minus 0.05 and moving from left off the cubes or moving to the right off the cubes it would speed up to plus 0.05 okay guys well I'm going to stop it there and I'm going to make a second part to this so uh, keep watching and I'll have it up shortly okay guys see you in a bit